what is it about change that uh, we ought to think about? We all have the flexibility to adapt the uh, places where we live. So we could change the furniture, we could you know, move it around, but we don't do that, or we do that rather rarely. And yet we are assuming that there is this innate desire for things to alter their shape and configuration um, uh, around us. And for me, the most important question is, how does change um, affect us? Because let's say you and I are talking in this room and you know, if the light dims, I guess that's a kind of an assumed and well understood change in, in the context. But if the ceiling started to come down suddenly because you, know, you wanted to have a better light reflection and so on, I would say I would be a bit uneasy not knowing where it's going to stop, if it's going to stop, and, and that sort of stuff. So there is a kind of psychology of, 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 of change that um, I think we ought to, uh, to look at. But there is, there is one immediate thing that we will start you know, saying, uh, which has to do with the building envelopes, the building skins. Uh, buildings have to mediate between the interior and exterior conditions. So obviously the exterior conditions are dynamic. You know, the temperature changes, the light level change, yet uh, the buildings as we know them uh, are static, fixed in, in how they mediate that condition. So that layer between the interior and exterior uh, is going to see uh, some in technological innovation. It's seeing that um, al already and is going to be the focus of, of this kind of technological um, innovation.